Hello everyone, it's Angela Nesbitt and welcome to My Color Story. Today we are talking all about value. So what is value? Value is just the relative lightness or darkness of a color. And it is super important in our paintings. It is really what holds a painting together and gives it pizzazz and sparkle. Uh, they always say, um, color gets all the credit, but value does all the work. So I'm giving you a little overview here on value today here on the palette. So welcome. So first here, I've done a, a grayscale. So that's what this is, the grayscale value finder. So it goes from one being black to 10 being white. And this is how we can judge um, our scene, our subject, and our colors out of our tubes and to figure out what, what value are they? How dark or how light are they? Here, I mixed up, a, I mixed up these grays using ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, making a very nice rich black. And then by adding white, little increments of white to each one, I was able to lighten up and then end with white. So it's a 10 scale. Sometimes people do all kinds of different numbers of scales. But then I went, I wanted to show you how you can just make your own little value finder here yourself, just out of canvas paper. And um, you could even cut out the little um, holes up here and number it if you'd like. So that's really simple and inexpensive. And next, I wanted to show you how color, how this relates to color and how we figure out how our colors, what value are they? So I just have a few of my standard colors up here. I have, the first one is an alizarin crimson, which <clears throat> the way you can tell the value of a color is simply if you put it on top of or next to the color, it, the value that it is, it just kind of disappears when you, particularly when you squint because bright colors show up kind of pop forward on top of a gray anyway, but when you squint, if it's this, if they're the same value, they will disappear. So the cad red light, so the first we started with the alizarin crimson. So it falls about right here with this gray. So that's a, that's a two on the value scale. And then this is a cad red light to kind of hold it. I'm squinting to see where it kind of starts to disappear. It starts to disappear about in there on a number five. And then I'll, let's look at cad yellow light, something more on the light side. So I'm just kind of looking and squinting and you can do that here too with your, with your finder. And I think it's going to fall about right there, even though it's so bright, but it is still a light value. So that's kind of how you figure out what value are your colors so that you, when you do come up with a value plan, you can actually apply it and, um, and stick to your value plan. So what is a value plan? So here is an example of a value plan. So I did this simple value plan of this floral. So I simplified my shapes and really I had to squint at my subject, simplify my shapes and come up with, I think I used four values in this one to identify the shapes and what value they are. So that means you're gonna have to merge some values that are close together because there'll be all kinds of little nuances within this area. But for this purpose and coming up with the overall value plan, I don't wanna see all those details at this point. The details are always the finishing touches. So a value plan just gives you a nice 
outline of where what your light pattern is going to be in your painting and it really can save you a lot of time and making a lot of mistakes and a lot of frustration as you're working through a painting. So I highly encourage doing a value plan. And one more little, little trick or tip that I think is important in value plans is to not make everything equal and even. That's what this, these four blocks are equal and even. So what you want to see in a painting, so if you're just, if you're a collector or a painter, check paintings out that you like and see if this applies. You want to see proportions that are not even in value. So you want to see like this one's a lot of light, a little bit of dark, and then these two different midtones have a different amounts. This particular one is a lot of midtone, smaller amount of dark, a little bit of light. And this one down here is a lot of dark, a middle amount of light, and a little bit of midtone. So those are tips to think about. I think we often, as painters, make things even, and even is boring. So um, I hope this helps in understanding art a little bit better and also in helping you come up with your next value plan. Um, so this is just a little taste of a whole week's worth of teaching that will go on and activate your art, my new course. So stay tuned for more details on that to come and have a great day.